It's completely up to you who you tell around your infertility. It's very individual and some people keep it completely private. Others share with just um, close friends and family or others are completely open around their journey. It really is about what feels right for you. Making your choices around those those three areas is hard, but I think I really encourage you, if you can, to be open about it. Not completely open necessarily, but a little bit open because often you can really um, find some sources of support. You know, <clears throat> so many times over the years I've heard, I finally opened up about my infertility and my boss had gone through the same thing three years earlier. Or we found out, I found out when I told my family that my auntie had gone through this as well. And you get those um, connections and that support that you so desperately need when you do go through this. You can also share your journey online. There's a large TTC community, for example, on Instagram, and that can be a real sense of support. And often people on Instagram use that anonymously. So that can be one way of sharing your journey um, and telling others about what you're going through without being explicit. But in terms of how you actually tell somebody what you're going through, honesty really is the best policy um, in terms of just saying, this is where I'm at, this is what I'm going through. And then if you can, <clears throat> people often wanna know how they can help. So be specific around how people can support you and help you, You know, whether that be dropping meals round after egg retrieval or helping with car rides or helping take your mind off things, whatever it is, if you can be specific around, because I think the people around you want to give you that support, um, even the people that you maybe don't expect um, can really help guide you through um, this really horrendous phase of your life. So it's up to you who you tell and how private you want to be on this. But when you do reach out, um, there will often be so much warmth coming back to you. And also to know that there is, you know, the support of a counsellor, a coach, a therapist, or through your doctor, um, the support at your clinic, um, if you're going through um, a medical journey, or support in something like uh, our app. We have an app where we have a private community, so you can just talk privately amongst other people, because you do really get such a sense of connection when you talk to somebody else that's going through it as well. So that can be a real sense of support for you.